Okay. There we go. Got the got the tunes going. This this was the the least sexy. <laughs> Which I felt the need to specify, considering what I'm gonna be doing. Because we're gonna be drawing some beefcakes tonight. Uh alright. Got everything all set up. Got the paint program going. Just going to hop to Discord for a minute. Let these dulcet tones fill the silence while I take care of a couple of technical bits on my end. Hope everybody's week is going well. So far, mine is cold. Very, very cold. It's been snowing pretty much nonstop today. I've not gone anywhere. I originally thought that I was going to be going places, but nope. Okay. Taking care of technical stuff, don't mind me. Definitely gotta post the message on the fourth leg Discord. I feel like some people would appreciate what I'm drawing tonight. <laughs> There we go. That will do. Yes. Okay. Took care of the back end stuff, so we're okay there. And I forgot to bring this up because we're in the final hours for Cats the Sketchbook on Crowdfunder. Oh. <gasps> yes! Hello, Cecil! I am so glad that you are here for the beefcakes. There will be plenty. But we're going to start with. Halson from Baldur's Gate 3 because whew, oh, oh my oh my good oh my good wordy um so like I knew Baldur's Gate 3 had Asterian and I was like okay okay yeah I, I get what the devs were going with this um but then I saw Carlock and I was like move aside all other romanceable characters and then I saw Halson and I went can I have both? <laughs> and I think the answer is yes, I can have both. <laughs> there we go. Okay, had to widen up the sub, sub view a little bit, get some more detail on our boy here. Now I could just straight up trace, but I'm not going to do that. Mostly because I want to practice drawing faces that are a tad bit more realistic. Or as realistic as PS5 games are rendered. <laughs> He's got some nice cheekbones. Looking at it, yeah. probably going to draw a Starion later. We'll see. Definitely got to do Carlock though. Carlock is definitely happening. Perhaps if we get around to it, might also draw, um, I believe his name is Brian for Monster Prompt, the zombie guy. Definitely want to get Damien at some point, but Damien's more of a twink. <laughs> He's not really a beefcake. Uh, but Scott, Scott from Monster Prompt would definitely qualify as a beefcake, I would argue. Why can't Mo? 
Yes, your himbo. I'm talking about your himbo. <laughs> that was my roommate from the other room. <laughs> yes, that's what I heard. I heard I had heard that uh, Halson was Polly, and I believe uh, Carlock also is, because there was like an in-game dialogue bit. Um, Alex already went through it, where she was like, I don't mind sharing, and I'm like, but maybe... <laughs> Just to get an idea for the proportions here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out just a touch. Okay. I probably could use Control Z because um, I could not use Control Z when using OBS, but I can use it with StreamYard because the commands don't contradict the two programs but i'm not going to do that because i've now taken it upon myself that every time i stream it's a no control z challenge <laughs> groundwork for that real quick before I forget. Yeah, his shoulders are not as tapered as I'm used to drawing. Used to drawing uh, a lot more pronounced trapezii. The trapezius muscles are the like triangly bits that connect your neck to your shoulders, like right and around through here. forgot to record the time lapse for this. This would make a great uh, short <laughs> working on this. Another reference image for him. Hold on. Probably another two. But one of them is a piece of fan art, so I'm a little hesitant to use it. I try not to use fan art as a point of reference for drawing characters when I can. Because when it comes to fan art, you can take creative liberties with stuff. Okay. His arms are so thick! <laughs> mm, should I tilt the head up or keep it tilted down? <laughs> Questions that I ask myself. Frame the face. Just, just a, just a skosh. There's an awful lot of detail to the costumes in these games, in this particular game. 
Like, it is bananas. I think it moved around a lot. It's a little higher. So it's closer towards here. There. I see that it looks like he's wearing a harness, and I don't think that's an accident. <laughs> oh, catching up on comments real quick. <laughs> uh, everyone deserves a great himbo. Yes, yes, they do. Tilt the head up, that's your two cents. Okay, I'll tilt the head up. Um, you know, I do agree with you there. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 is the golden standard for games in this genre because there's a lot of love and detail that went into this game. It's also probably the best iteration of D&D &D 5e that I have seen. <laughs> like, period. My little DM brain watches my roommate play and I'm like, oh, there's so many different ways that I could go about stuff and I want to try it. But there's also a little part of me that's, that kind of wants to, um, I don't want to say be a troll about it, but I definitely want to play it in an unorthodox way, which is, um, because I feel like a lot of people, particularly on Instagram, whom I follow, post a lot about, here's my tiefling doing this thing. Here's my tiefling doing that thing. And I'm like, I want to play a little old grandma character. Because <laughs> uh, I have a, I have a grandma character, um, Alice of the Grey Hills who uh well her husband bless his soul he passed away and you know i told you know what i told him when he was on his deathbed well i told him so, i told him honey when you're dead and gone i am gonna go adventuring because i never got a chance to go adventuring when i was younger and that that's my chance to take care of it because we got the kids taking care of the farm we got the grandkids taking care of everything else and I just want to go on my adventures and you know what he told me he told me Alice you could do whatever the hell you want when I am dead and gone and I went well I didn't need your permission but thank you for your acceptance <laughs> like that's the kind of character that I would want to like role play as in Baldur's Gate 3 but considering the dialogue options that exist I don't think I could be able to do that <laughs> I just think it would be funny. God, the level of detail in this game. Like, I'm zooming in on his face and I'm like, good God, sir. <laughs> but also, good God, developers. The, the textures are freaking unreal. Huh. <gasps> See, this is why I use multiple references, because a nose can look very different depending on the lighting. Okay. His face needs to slim down just a, a twee bit. Not, not very much. He, he's still, I don't want to necessarily say he's a round boy, but he's definitely got some features <laughs> that are atypical of an elf. But I appreciate it. I appreciate elves that are not the typical, very effeminate, thin elf. Hmm. <laughs> 
He's got some stray flowing hairs. Okay, I just gotta bite the bullet. I gotta draw his freaking face. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta catch up on these comments because I just saw one. <laughs> I had a grandmother orc character who has two big, huge himbo sons. Yes, I am here for this. Oh, grandsons. Correction. But still. Mwah. Very good. So good. I love it. <laughs> Amazing. I did hear my Discord message go off, and I just want to make sure that it's not an emergency with... Uh... Okay. Okay. Because I'm moderator for a fanzine going on right now, and we had a little bit of a uh, uh, situation earlier, and I just want to make sure that it wasn't, like, an emergency that would make me have to bail on the stream so early. I don't think it is. Mmm. Okay. Okay, no state of emergency. We are good. We can continue with drawing our beefcakes. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what would really help? Uh, what, what would help my psyche is drawing the face on a different layer. <laughs> that would really help my psyche and draw it in a different color. That would also help. So do appreciate a man with some laugh lines on his face like these. Like, <laughs> I think I might need to move the nose down, but we'll see. This is, this is the tricky bit with me. So I'm so used to drawing eyes in a particular stylized way and this is very different. Okay. And I'm trying really hard not to have my caricature's instincts kick in right now. <laughs> but I might have to. We'll see. Noticing that there is a, uh, that the, the, uh, bottom lid of his eyes are one way, but the top lids are a different way, so... scarring on this section and this section. I did get some spoilers for the game thanks to TV Tropes because TV Tropes was one of the places that had an actual like useful reference image of him. And I was like, okay, I'm curious what TV Tropes are relevant to Halson as a character. And there were a bunch. <laughs> there was like a veritable list. 
Not that that's a bad thing. As long as there's interesting ways to go about those tropes. Ah, I can see uh, problem number one. <laughs> Not just the uh, proportions of the face. Jute. Okay, let's try doing this. This is the way that his eyebrow and oh, the um, the brow line over here. I need to fix that. <laughs> okay. a bit better, I think. Okay, well right now I'm working on the face, so I'll I'll do that first. Oh, I almost forgot. To mention to my friend group because my friend group would really, really want to tune into this. <laughs> there we go. I almost forgot to tell them. Now that that makes me a bad friend, but I remembered. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm glad to see that you were able to join us this time around. <laughs> um, I've been uh, answering this question. Have you not played Baldur's Gate 3 or just haven't finished? So I've been watching my roommate Alex play it. Because um, I'm I'm one of those people that kind of lives vicariously through other video game players. Um, this is just a thing that I've done since uh, my younger sibling is an avid gamer. And I would always like work on crafts or draw or whatever while they would play video games. Um, so it's, that's just a habit I'm used to. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, I've been obsessed with Raphael. I get it. Um, I actually briefly considered including Raphael in the lineup for tonight. Uh, but then I looked at reference images of him and I'm like, he's not a beefcake. Raphael is not a beefcake. Um, I don't know what I would qualify him as, but it's not a beefcake. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I see. I see what's going on with his eyes. Hold on. Had to hop away for a second. Okay. Uh, but my roommate finished, um, uh, I don't, I don't entirely know what point she's at right now, but they went to the Kretsch, Kretsch, I don't remember how you pronounce it, uh, where, where the gifts are, and it turns out that the machine that they were using would actually kill you, and bad stuff was happening, and so they were like, yep, nope, we're not gonna do that, um, so they're looking for other alternatives. Um, and Halson is part of the party now, so there's that. Okay. Okay. I might, I might, I might have to take some creative liberties and do this a little less realistically, but we will see. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's, it's coming together now. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna redraw that chin now. <laughs> together a bit better just gotta draw the uh scarring and the i think it's like a face tattoo that you got going on over there gotta get that i think that's a i have better reference images to show the face tattoo i think but the scarring for sure needs to get in there i'll draw those in purple Okay, there's four, looks like. Oh, I think there might be a little going across his nose. He's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that Raph is a twunk. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that there was some clarification in that regard for uh, Raphael. <laughs> so I've I've heard that Link is a twunk. Uh, Link from Legend of Zelda. I have heard that he is a twunk. So it would track that Raphael would also be a twunk. <laughs> oh, that's a different layer. Hold on. Ha ha! So that I know what layer I'm drawing on. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what would help? Flipping the canvas. <laughs> it would also help. Okay. have the general eye shape figured out. I mean, I'm open to feedback if y'all have suggestions for, like, if there's something that I'm missing because I'm, like, in the weeds at the moment. those lines are scars or part of the tattoo. Oh, part of the tattoo. Okay. 
I'm gonna redraw that eye. Oh, catch up on comments. Uh, let's see. Oh, talking about a twink. It depending on which game, Twilight Princess, Twunk, Breath of the Wild, Twink. That's true. Um. Oh, appreciate the feedback as much as I'd love to see some bedroom eyes. I think it's very accurate to the character so far. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to get like right now. I'm trying to get character accurate before I try to do anything extra. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Seeing if that's what's needed. There we go. Okay. I realized my tablet had a setting going that was making it do weird things and I, I fixed it. <laughs> okay. It's that other eye. It's that other eye that is throwing me off. I got it. No, I don't think I got it. Let me flip the canvas. Yeah, no, I think I got it. Or maybe I don't. <sighs> I keep having this back and forth. <laughs> All right, hold on. Looking at it at this angle. This angle is what's getting to me. All right. You know what? Uh, um, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna select these and I'm gonna cut them into a different layer and we're gonna turn that off. <laughs> See if starting over fresh will help. <laughs> Draw these in blue. I don't think he has blue eyes. Does he? No. No, he does not. I didn't think he did. Okay. Okay, let's, I'm going to zoom out for this part because I feel like part of the problem is that I was zoomed in too much. Okay. Okay, that gives me a rough outline for to work in. Okay. Mm. Oh, comments. Uh, as far as feedback, maybe you should make the fist a bit more chiseled, if you know what I mean. Less rounded. I do know what you mean. I think that'll be... I think that'll be the next thing that I do. Yeah. I think, I think I'm going to address that first real quick before I do anything else. OK. 
ครับแค่ here's the part where I'm taking a little bit more creative liberties. Like these a lot better than the first iteration that I drew. Not gonna lie. So I'm realizing part of the problem was that the um, the relation between the eyes and the rest of the face shape was throwing me off. So fixing the the rest of the face shape is helping a lot. <laughs> Also, his hair falls across, not quite across his face, but it falls framing his face in such a way that it looks more rounded than what it actually is. Something I'm noticing too. Losing track of what layer is what. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's coming together a little bit better now, I think. We've been on this same track for a little while. I'm gonna change it up real quick. Nah, not that one. We'll do that one. Um, there are a few that are like, we'll maybe save those for later. <laughs> okay. Mm. His hair. I knew there was something. Yeah, he's coming together much better now. Thank you for the suggestion, Cecil. They helped a lot. <laughs>
Oh, that's looking so much better. <laughs> That just a, a tweet bit. Not too much. There. Mmm, hot boy. That's what we got going on right here. Oh, we gotta finish off those tattoos. Can't forget those. Alright, hold on. zoomed out. It's coming together. It's coming together quite nicely. Okay, I wasn't sure if he had any piercings or not. He has braids! Of course he has braids! Alright, I gotta work those in. <laughs> How many does he have? I see two. Okay. Well, two on one side. What about the other? Well, that reference image doesn't really help much. Uh, neither does that one. <laughs> okay, there's at least one on that side. Yeah, at least with this image, the lighting is coming from the other direction, so that helps. <laughs> okay. Oh! And it looks like there's some scarring on that side as well. I'm gonna... Okay. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. I don't know if it's the lighting, but does, does Halson have have eyeliner? Are you talking in the reference image or in what I'm drawing right now? Because probably yes, either way. Probably yes to the reference images at the very least. No shade. Not throwing shade, if that is the case. Uh, I do need to draw those braids, so let me add those in real quick. Oh. Okay, the braids are gonna be these and that okay okay grade number one complete I'm not sure how it's tied off, though. How's it tied off? The game left it vague! Why? Why did the game do this to me? Okay. It looks like there's a tattoo on his neck. If I'm looking at the reference image, right? Hold on. The mark there? Can't tell on that one. Yeah, there's like a, a, a little, like, marking right here. Huh. 
Interesting. Might as well add those in. Okay. Yeah, eventually I'm going to play Baldur's Gate 3 for myself, but in the meantime, I don't mind watching Alex play. Um, she is right now playing a drow cleric. Uh, a war cleric, because I feel like... Alex, is that your favorite class to play, is war cleric? Uh, cleric in general, yeah. Yeah, uh, she says cleric in general. But, like, any time that you've talked about clerics, it's more often than not the war domain ones that I've heard about. <laughs> Okay, what's your what's your second pick? Um, is it calm knowledge or wisdom domain? I can't remember now. Uh, knowledge domain. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, gotcha. I mean, knowledge is good. Yeah. Yeah, because you can you can get a a broader swath of spells under your belt yeah. with knowledge domain. It just depends on the campaign for me. Gotcha. Like, which one I would prefer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Alex and I were just talking off camera, but her top two picks for Cleric are usually, like, War Domain or Knowledge Domain, depending on the campaign that she's playing in, which totally get. Okay. Probably once we get the pencils down for Halson, we'll move on to doing the pencils for Carlock. Because I'd like to get at least some sketches done for today. Even if they're not going to be, like, made to completion. I want to get the sketches laid down. We got those. I forgot that this was that this reference image was at an angle. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to call the pencils there for Halson for now. Though I do want to fix up this uh, cheekbone real quick. Just I feel like that could be drawn better. Notice that there is a. I'm not sure what to call it, but there is definitely something at the corners, the outside corners of his eyes going on. There we go. I'm going to call it there for Halson for now, and I'm going to move on to Carlock. Um, just take a break from Halson and move to Carlock for now. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Save our progress. Okay. Uh, catching up on this. 
I get that. This game is dangerous because I adore working on intricate details in my art, and that's the death of me. I used to be the same way. Uh, and then I started studying animation, and I discovered that that kind of attitude in animation is um, part of why the... What was it? The Thief and the Cobbler never finished while the artist, the original director, was alive. <laughs> and I'm like, well, if I want to see stuff to completion, I gotta be less sacred to details. Um, oh, talking about uh, favorite classes. Uh, Cecil's favorite class is actually Fighter. Very torn between Warlock and Bard for magic users. I mean, my preferences for Bard... Um, but there's a lot of utility with Bard that you can unlock. It really depends on what you're after with your magic classes, because, like, Warlock, you can customize. They're, they are the, the paper dress-up dolls of, uh, D&D classes. Um, Bard is, like, the gap filler. <laughs> um, like, oh, no, your party is missing a rogue? Get a College of Swords bar uh, Bard. Oh, you're missing a Warlock? Get a College of Whispers Bard. Um, oh, you're missing a, a wizard? Uh, get the College of Lore bard. Um, yeah, bards are generally, like, very good at, like, filling in gaps <laughs> in a given D&D &D party, is what I've noticed. Which is part of why I love bard. Uh, because bards are, like, whatever you make them to be. <laughs> uh, paladin or barbarian are other classes I'm torn between. Um... Now, this is also a personal preference. Barbarian, for me. I've I've done Paladin. They're fine. Um, being able to use your spell slots to deal extra damage is nice. It's a nice utility. Um, but there's just something very fun about being a barbarian. Because with being a barbarian, it's like, I don't have to think. I just smack things. <laughs> All right, let's get let's get Carlac started. I'm gonna bring up some Carlac images here. I'm really tempted with Carlac to be a little more like less photorealistic-y or less true to the style of Baldur's Gate Three and being a little bit more interpretive with how I would draw her. I'm really tempted. to get a I need to get a clearer view of what is going on with I know she's she only has one horn I know that much okay oh, okay I think I see how the horn curves. Okay. I forgot that it was in blue pencil, and it's very funny because she's a red teeth like. If I were to play tiefling, she'd probably be green. <laughs> Uh, Barbarian is more fun, to be honest. It depends. Uh, it depends on the class of Paladin as well. Um, I actually built an NPC that's like Oath of Conquest Paladin, and those can be fun, but in different ways. But mostly it's fun because um, that was a... I don't want to say pre-built NPC, but the, the character path was like, this dude's a bad guy. He's got to be Oath of Conquest. <laughs> The details on, Car on Carlock are going to be the death of me, though, because there's a lot. <laughs> Kudos to... The I was scrolling through TikTok once and I saw there was a doll maker who was like, I made a Carlock doll, and I'm like, you poor soul. 
because they went into the details on the leather and everything and i'm like oh i would not i would not have the patience for that bless you for doing that <laughs> like d d round of applause for you d that is not me <laughs> Okay, there we go. Her shoulders are a little bit more tapered. Just the general shape of that one, and okay, I think I, I think I know how this one curves. Like that. Pretty sure. From what I can tell in the reference image anyway. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah, the one side of her head is shaved. I know that. Very similar to my old hairstyle before I shaved it entirely off. <laughs> I shaved it off because I, tr I tried cutting it short because Muni kept trying to eat my hair. And then I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm at a point where I just want to try being bald for a bit. And so far I'm liking it. So I don't, I don't see growing out my hair any longer than like peach fuzz length for a while. Gotta get the ears. It's got a little silver clasp right there, and then a little silver clasp right there. Yeah. Just to get the general shape of stuff down. We always got to get the general shapes before we go into the details. Okay, this one. This reference image gives me a better idea of... costume here, which is good. Again, general shapes. We're not doing anything super detailed right now because, oh good lordy, good golly Mr. Molly, these details. quick because we've been on this track for a little while I'm going to change up the music da, da, da. there we go Carlock has two horns one is just snapped off near the head yes I do recall that detail um, peak tiefling color is red no one can tell me different I guess I prefer my tieflings to be multicolored. Um, even purple tieflings are fun. I love purple tieflings. Um, 
I understand why there are some people who are like, tieflings are red. They can't be any other color. Like, I get that. Those people are wrong. <laughs> I'm just a little too I'm just a little blue tiefling. That's all. If it were up to me, I would play a green tiefling. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll draw her at this angle, but then probably at the end of it, I'll camera flip her because I already have Halson looking the same direction. <laughs> but then again, whenever the NPCs like talk to you at camp, they're usually, they're almost always on like one side of the camera, looking at you from the viewer's right, looking looking towards the left. It's almost always how they're shown. Okay, this, this particular reference gives me a better view of her hair. The other one was just too dark. Okay. Do the same thing that I did last time and have the face on a different layer just to ease my psyche just a bit. Okay. And she does have some more rounded cheekbones, I've noticed. Oh, at some point in this stream, uh, because Lynn kind of made the request, um, I'm going to treat it a little more loosely, but they were like, well, Assassin's Creed Valhalla had some Vikings, oh, yeah. but that that's because they have the desire of climbing a Viking like a tree. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I obviously I have to do a Viking it. woman now. <laughs> They'll be equally happy with that. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be equally happy with that. So at some point in this stream, I'm going to be drawing a Viking woman. Yes. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> yeah, already got Halson sketched. I'm not like 100% happy with the sketch, but we're just going to set it aside while I work on Har on Carlock for a bit. Mm -hmm. And maybe we'll revisit it. But, you know, working on Carlock right now. Um, then after that, probably Ganondorf. Uh, specifically, the Tears of the Kingdom iteration of Ganondorf. Yes. Matt yeah, the, the Matt Mercer iteration <laughs> of Ganondorf. We have to be very particular here. <laughs> because as we have specified earlier in the stream, there are already like twink and twonk versions of Link. Yeah. The, there are, I mean, I would argue that Ganon is a dilf no matter what campaign or what game that he's in. Yeah. But his his like scale of dilfness is Went like from like here to here. <laughs> <laughs> for folk for folks at home who are not seeing this, you went the level of dilfness for Tears of the Kingdom iteration of Ganondorf went from here to here. <laughs> Which yes. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely a hundred percent. Surprisingly, not very much game art that I could find with Tears of the Kingdom iteration of Ganondorf. I only found, like, two official, like, character paintings, and the rest were screen grabs. Yeah. 
Yeah. They didn't release a whole lot because they wanted him to be a the, surprise. Yeah, they wanted him to be a surprise, but surprise! His image got leaked and then yeah. the internet was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> As we tend to be. As we tend to be, yes. <laughs> I don't see that as a problem, but <laughs> I just realized her eye line got situated kind of low. Because <laughs> I was like, her nose is sitting awfully low on her face. And then I went, oh, that's I was drawing it in relation to the eye line and I drew the eye line low. So let's try this again. Okay. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Lad. Oh, hello, Moons. I'm gonna remove for a second so we can get a closer look and pay the pet tax. Yes. This is Mooney Vegeta Muser Peterson Crawford. He is very cute. He is very cute. He is a cutie patootie. Mm hmm. Yes. A, a little cutie patootie. Mm hmm. Hello, baby. Oh, mwah. Thank you for letting me shake your paw. Mm -hmm. Oh, kisses. Yeah, kissy baby. Mm -hmm. Kiss the beans. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. He really is. He's such a sweet boy. I've only ever heard him growl actively once. And that was when there was like a mouse toy making weird noises and he did not like it. Hi, baby. You wanna get up on camera again? <laughs> nope, he just wants to eat Bree Bree's food. <laughs> <laughs> Cecil is very excited about Dilf Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Arch of Winter joined us at the perfect time for Carlock. Yes, let's bring that back up on the screen. We'll, we'll adjust the eyes. Um, <laughs> TOTK, Tears of the Kingdom, more like Thirst of the Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is thirsty. Thirsty for everyone. Peak character designs. <laughs> uh, himbo fish boyfriend? Yeah, himbo fish boyfriend. Like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> boo boo! Why are you. Boo boo! I'm sorry for yelling directly into the mic. Boo boo! Why? Why? She was. She was like doing like on the wall. And I'm like, that's really unusual for you, madam. <laughs> I would pay pet tax with Boo Boo, but she does not like to be picked up. All right, let's go back to drawing eyes for Carlock here. Oh, she does have eyeliner. Brows are so slick. <laughs> Have you noticed that about Carlock? Her eyebrows are like on point. <laughs> Oh, 
hold on, I can place that line different. There we go. <laughs> As it turns out, whenever there's something up with the face, all I gotta do is fix the forehead. <laughs> canvas, see how that looks. See, this is why I'm really glad that Clip Studio Paint has like a mirror the canvas tool, because I'm able to catch more things that way. I love, I love that the chat right now is, or about four minutes ago, was very excited about Dilf Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was that? I still haven't finished that game. You haven't finished? I, I thought you did. I got caught up on the Korok seeds. Oh. <laughs> I mean, the Korok seeds are really easy to like lose yourself in. Literally, all I have left is to defeat Ganon. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I wasn't sure if you had finished Tears of the Kingdom or not. Yeah. Exactly. I know that you I know you finished Breath of the Wild on accident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like that was partially my fault because I was like, oh, you fell in. Can you escape? And you were like, no. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. It's all good. I just went back. Okay. <laughs> Oh, one of these days I'll actually play Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, but today's not that day. <laughs> uh, probably I'm going to be playing my Alice character sooner than actually playing Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. Because <laughs> there's just a little part of me that really wants to play elderly grandma in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> just, to, just to, like, fuck with the programming. <laughs> She's got a, a bit of a a broader chin. There. Not tapered off. Okay. That's better. I gotta fix that nose. That nose does not look right. Thank you. 
Okay. Whew, so I am assuming that the folks who are hanging out in the live chat have been playing uh, Baldur's Gate. I'm curious how far you've gotten into the game. Um, I do not mind spoilers, but I can't speak to everybody who might be catching the replay of this. <laughs> Oh, hold on a second. I gotta... Actually, before I put the wrist brace on, I'm just gonna real fast, just... Because I forgot to stretch before sitting down. Oh yeah, that was my wrist. I just heard it pop. Oh, that was my other wrist. <laughs> For anybody who might be curious, this is actually something I learned from mom because she used to play volleyball a lot and these were the kinds of hand stretches that they used to do before playing volleyball. Oh, there we go. That's Oh man, I already feel much better. <laughs> Boo Boo eats Bree Bree's bag of food. Not the food itself. The bag. She eats that sometimes too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know she eats sometimes eats Bree Bree's food. But like, Boo Boo toes into senior cat. So it's fine, actually. Speaking of, it's the Boo Boo. Hello, Boo Boo. Paying the pet tax again. Oh. Yes, you are on camera. You are a star. You are a star. Yes. You are very cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. I I swear I am working on the live stream bingo cards. <laughs> I started designing them. Um, I don't know if I'm halfway through the blocks yet, but I have a good number of them already figured out. Um... Ooh, character suggestion. Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. I have to check and see if I have reference images for him or not. If I do, I will draw him. Um, I have to check and see if I have Gladio uh, from Final Fantasy XV. Because that was another I was thinking about doing. Um, Mid-Act 3 since before Christmas. I've been feeling meh lately. just don't want to play anything that requires a lot of thinking. Totally get that. It's Baldur's Gate has a lot of layers. <laughs> Um, I have friends who are finishing up their third playthrough. I mean, the game has been out for a while, so that kind of makes sense. Okay. Well, so far I'm feeling much more confident about Carlock than I am about Halson, so... That's something. I feel like that says a lot about me as a person. <laughs> That I'm feeling a lot more confident with my art of Carlock than I am about Halson. <laughs> I mean, then again, Carlock was the character that, like, made me watch the Baldur's Gate playthrough and go, I am playing this game! <laughs> so, like, I can't be that surprised. <laughs> Yeah, it was Twink Vampire Boy for Alex, but for me, it is Buff Lady Barbarian with an absolute heart of gold. <laughs> she is great, and I love her. Uh, I think Gary is on the same boat as me. Because <laughs> he was like, yes, I tuned in right as you were drawing uh, Carlock, and I'm like, yes. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Love it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh God, the detail on this game, the the textures on her horns. Like, I have the reference art up in a, in a like corner viewfinder in, in this program, and I'm able to like zoom in and look at these details, and I'm like, good God. I know. It's it's bonkers. <laughs> No, it, I wanted it so bad. Ah, holy banana pants. Like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it's also like, oh my geez, no wonder the processing power is bananas on this game. I am willing to forgive it the occasional floating rock. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about that one time that you were like i think it was like you were you were going through a temple or something and no i think it was like a cave and uh there was an opening that was made and then there were just uh -huh. like two rocks just floating in the air right about waist height i think that was the spiders uh, that was the spider cave yeah I feel like the rest of the internet, the internet might feel this way. Um, I feel like Chloe definitely does. Will looks better with horns. He does. <laughs> he 100%. really a hundred percent looks better with horns. I think I think I would not be surprised if they designed his character originally with horns in mind, and then they were like, "Oh shit, we need to give him a human form first. Yeah. <laughs> I would not be surprised if that was the case. Same. Yeah. I, looking at the mechanics and what he does in the game, like him and Gale, him and Gale miss. Fuck yeah, him and Gale <laughs> miss every hit that they try to make. <laughs> Just about. Like I've I've only seen two. I've only seen two things that Gale has done successfully. He has successfully used shield against that one um, Death Shepherd that you were fighting just now, and the other thing was he successfully used the acid splash against yeah. the ghouls and yeah. the death shepherd when they that's were all like clustered it. together, but that's about it! That's pretty much it. That's pretty, much, pretty it. much missed everything else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, why? Why, baby? This this is this is why we have an all-lady team. Yes. <laughs> and a star. And a starian. <laughs> all women plus a starian. Yes. <laughs> Let's, let's be honest, he's an honorary princess. <laughs> oh, you're good. <sighs> I was thinking about working on a video tonight, but um, I have most of the back-end stuff done for it. I just have to actually, like, record audio for it. Ah. We'll see if I get it done in time for Friday. For tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Oh god, tomorrow's Friday. <laughs> like, jeez. Honestly, Carlock's little like dialogue bits when you tell her that she has to stay at camp crack me up because like Astarian, you tell him he has to stay at camp he, and he's just like, oh, good. <laughs> and Carlock is like, oh, really? <laughs> really, really? <laughs> really, really? And if you change your mind and you're like, now you can come with, she's like, fuck yes. <laughs> and I love that for her. <laughs> Thank you. 
I also love that she has a teddy bear named Clive. <laughs> I was thinking about finding a way to integrate Clive into this particular illustration, but maybe that'll be the next one. <laughs> I do want to draw more. I want to draw these characters more. I gotta get the hang of them first. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is very messy. Hold on. I'm going to clean this up a bit. Yeah, I'm way more satisfied with Carlock than I am with Helsin at the moment. So yeah, but we'll go ahead and call it there for uh, Carlock for now. Everything else is like all details. One thing I am going to do, though. There we go. Just had to reframe it. Just, just, just a smidge. Okay. Go, go ahead and call it there for Carlock. Oh, catching up on comments. So Cecil is still in Act 1. Does not know much about Act 2 or 3. Um, Act 2 is where Halson joins the party. Um, <laughs> how does Carlock or other tieflings sleep? How does Will sleep? How are the horns not getting in the way of sleeping? Uh, Question for the ages. Uh, I just chalk it up to it clips through the video game programming. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. A very a, narrow pillow. You have to have a very narrow pillow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sleep on <the> yes. <laughs> also, I appreciate that Cecil uh, calls Raphael the Disney villain of Baldur's Gate 3 because he very much is. <laughs> Uh, I, I, I get why people are obsessed oh, with him, I but like... Demon form is way hotter than his human form. Demon form Raphael, way hotter than human form Raphael. Ra human form Raphael is bland. Yeah, he's just basic white dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's it, bas basic bitch, you might mm -hmm. say. But like... <laughs> Gale is such a wizard. <laughs> All caps wizard yeah. in every sense of the word. He is. He really is. Uh, Arch of Winter has managed to get Shadowheart um, to tank because her gear gives off radiant damage when hit and she can cast a radiant area of effect aura. Nice. Yep, so totally get that. D people are mad you can't romance Raphael. I would not be surprised if they made that a DLC if the demand was there. Um, honestly... I'm meh with Raphael. The only form of his that I care about is his demon one. Um, but even then, like, there's already Halson and Carlock. Why would I want Raphael? <laughs> like, questions that deserve to be asked. <laughs> All right, so we got Carlock sketched up. We'll go ahead and take a break from Carlock for a bit, and we will draw... You know what? I'm going to take a break from using a bunch of reference materials. I'm going to draw buff Viking woman. <laughs> no, wait! We were going to do Ganondorf. That's right. Hold on, let me get Ganondorf up. Okay. Let me get those pictures. This might require some digging, so bear with me while I do some digging. I'm so glad that I clearly labeled these. 
Okay. There's a couple of different angles that I could draw Ganon with. I kind of want to do him facing towards the camera because it is asymmetrical. So I think I might just do that. Yeah, okay. I gotta say, Ganon is quite broad. <laughs> it's the best way to describe him, it's just broad. Like, he's fucking huge. <laughs> Excuse my language. Uh, <laughs> oh, catching up on comments. It would be fun to romance Raphael, but I see why they didn't because of how unapologetically evil he is. Yeah, at least Asterion has the, like, kind. I don't know if he has a redemption arc necessarily. It depends on how you play through the game. But, you know, he's fun evil. Raphael is just evil for evil's sake. Um, <laughs> people are mad you can't romance more people. You want to romance monsters, play Monster Prom. Because <laughs> that's, that's what Monster Prom is for. Um... <laughs> I, I will I will give this Raphael is entertaining. <laughs> he is very funny in his own way. I I still want to see Minsk. Um he's I think he's in Baldur's Gate proper, like the city. Because I know he's in Baldur's Gate 3. But yeah. but Minsk is voiced by Matthew Mercer and he's just like Swords for everyone! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> more silly voices for Matt. I, we need more silly voices from Matt. <laughs> What's wrong, Daniel? What's wrong, Daniel? <laughs> Still the best iteration. So funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat with Ganondorf a little bit. I'm gonna set up the symmetry ruler for a hot second just to get his face down, his face and muscles, since he's gonna be looking at the camera. Um, okay. <sighs> His primary colors are red and green, so how about we draw him in gold instead? We have golden brown. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna get the face shape, or the head shape down. do those eyes a little different. Gotta get that top knot in. Which is not symmetrical, I'm realizing. So let's turn that off for a sec.
I was, there for a second, I was like, please tell me he has nipples. He does not. I understand why there are some official artists that do not draw male nipples, but at the same time, I want to see some male nipples. <laughs> but that is my preference. I feel like that is something that might be exclusive to me, and I have to accept that about myself. <laughs> Here for a sec. Okay. Symmetry ruler off again. Okay, back on. Catching up on comments real quick. Um, Stop it. Oh, would not be surprised if Raphael had a bigger role in the next game. Uh, would not be surprised either. Um, <laughs> I I feel like I should know what kill a kill nipples reference, but I'm not sure that I want to put those on Ganondorf. <laughs> For now, let's just go back to his face. I love the painterly effect of the, like, official art for Tears of the Kingdom. So, so painterly. Much paintbrush. Very stroke. <laughs> And of course, the gem on his forehead is an asymmetrical design because God forbid that they make any of this easy. <sighs> okay. something. I'm going to... move this down. There we go. The face was a bit long there for a sec. I think I fixed it. That's a different shape. See, this is why it's important to know your basic shapes so that when you see complicated designs, you're like, oh, it's a diamond with a circle at the bottom. Okay. 
makes it easier to like break it down. Symmetry tool back on for some of these finer details. Let's try that again. Okay, awesome. the symmetry tool back off because we don't need to draw the stuff going under the robe there. Could draw that at a better angle. Intricate gold jewelry. Hold on, there's a better angle that it, at which I can see this jewelry. Oh ha! And there's a tattoo. Of course there's a tattoo. Why make this easy? This is this is why I try to simplify character designs nowadays, because if this were a comic, I'd be like, nope, we're we're getting rid of that detail. We're not we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Ugh. And especially because um uh fun fact, I've actually started working on a new uh personal project of sorts offline, which is I'm making um, animation assets as if I'm getting ready to pitch The Legend of Jamie Roberts as an animated uh, series, which means I'm drawing up actual character sheets, prop designs, environment design paintings, and all that stuff. Um, so I'm working on that. Um, don't know if I would actually pitch it as a TV show. I would really like to work on Volume 3 a little bit more first before I consider that. But, that said, oh, you know what? Just to play around with the symmetry a little bit and to make it different from the official art, I'm going to get rid of these lines over here. There. That changes the balance in a way that I find a lot more satisfying than the original, like, art. Yeah, I like that a lot better. So I'm gonna go get this and... Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Honestly. Okay, we gotta get the details on that, like, forehead crest thing that he's got. Uh, somebody who's actually played Tears of the Kingdom. Tell me why it is that he has this crown thing on his forehead. I feel like that's a plot-relevant thing that he's got.
Hmm? Gail just did something useful. Gail did something useful? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd he do? <laughs> I mean, barely, because it's only kobolds, but he took out like five kobolds with one firebolt. <laughs> oh my god! Good news! Gail just took out five kobolds with one firebolt. He has officially crossed the useful threshold. <laughs> Thank goodness! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, catching up on comments. It, okay, Alex. Imagine Ganon in Studio Trigger style. Yes? Yes. 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 Uh, roommate approved. Yes. Uh, that's gonna be a square on the live stream bingo. <laughs> roommate approved. <laughs> Ooh, that's a fun question. Uh, what race in Zelda would you be? I love retail. I would honestly be Gerardo. Let, let's <laughs> let's be real. I'd, I'd be a Gerardo. Yeah. yeah. Like, I might not have the height, but I definitely have the vibe. You do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I have the vibe. <laughs> uh, huh. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, Arch of Winter says that the uh, crest thing that's on Ganondorf's forehead is some sort of symbolic gem or stone shape in Japan. Um, oh, it's, yeah, it's probably like the equivalent of like a crown for a king. I just didn't know if it was like supposed to be some kind of magic seal on his powers that suddenly broke or something like that. But yeah, I could see that being a crown. Because similar a similar aesthetic was seen on other ganondorf forms and it was a crown so that tracks Uh, by the way, looking at this thing and thinking about gold, um, if anybody has checked out the Folding Ideas video, he recently released a new video talking about... It's just called Gold. And it's about a documentary released by the World Gold Council, which is a thing. And he very politely, as any good Canadian filmmaker would do, he very politely breaks down why that particular documentary sucks. <laughs> and oh, that that is, I'll be honest, anytime that Folding Ideas releases a new video, it is my new brain candy that I play in the background while I work on stuff for like at least a month. <laughs> I can't place why. It's just I really like his dry humor and how very straightforward he is on things. Um, it, I had the realization that he's one of the few like male YouTubers that I watch. Almost all of the ones that I watch are... Almost all of them are ladies. <laughs> had that realization the other day. Why, hello, Mooney! Do you want to say hello to the camera? Do you want to say hello to the good, pe good people of the internet? He has jumped up onto the table. Come here, baby. Oh, come here, baby. Oh, it is a, a Mooney. Hello, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Cat tax. <laughs> So startled. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That's a cool fun fact. Uh, Magatama stone gem shape dating back to 1000 BC attributed to several gods. That's really cool. I like that fun fact. I love fun facts. But that, I have a new fav favorite fun fact. Thank you, Arch of Winter. I'm just going to highlight that comment for a hot second again. Because that's really cool. Okay. Ooh. Yes, okay. Uh, 
Okay, the tattoo. I'm, I'm gonna... I may not have to worry about the tattoo. <laughs> I just realized I don't have much of his arm in this particular cropped image. Um, and in fact, if anything, I might be zooming in. Uh, we shall see. Oh, let me turn the symmetry back off again because I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, I gotta say, as somebody who, um, like, I'm not a professional weightlifter, but I have done weight training. Um, like, th these abs are not their natural state. That is, that is them flexing. Abs do not look like that when they are at rest. Like, I, I appreciate it on, like, an aesthetic, like, artistic point, why it is that artists choose to draw in detailed abs, but, like, like the artist side of me is like, wow, they took the time to do that. And then the actual like weight training side of me is like, oh God, stop. Because <laughs> it's actually like not healthy to have abs look, look like that. Okay. probably going to be changing the cropping of this a bit. But we're getting there. We're, we're doing we're doing well. So far we are doing well. Oh. Okay. Also I just realized what time it is. Holy crap, we've been doing this for like uh just about two hours. Holy dang. Um, okay, here in a bit, I'm actually gonna get up and do some stretches, get some water, uh, have some tea, because my tea has been sitting neglected for several minutes now, and I don't want to neglect my tea anymore. Okay, with that, we'll go ahead and zoom out from here, and I'm gonna walk away for a bit, <laughs> uh, just to get some wawa. But th those abs dehydrated. You could say this is another iteration of dehydrated Ganon. <laughs> uh, his big arms give us big hugs. Yes, and that is why I fell in love with Halson. Because <laughs> have you seen those gams? Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to hop away for a second. I'm going to take a little tea break. I would encourage y'all to do the same. Uh, to signify that, let's go ahead and change the music a bit. Uh, let's do... Yeah, this will work. And we are going to take a little snack break. All right. I'm going to get up, take a stretch, get some wawa, get some tea. I will be back in just a minute. Those are my shoulders. Oh, those are my elbows. Oh god. I need to stretch more. <laughs> okay. <sighs> this smells really good. <laughs> it's not 
oder so mal sehr schief Das war so gern. Hallo, Rudi. I'm just gonna keep flying in place. Video game watching. Now that I have Dan and Dorf and uh, Carlock solidified, I might revisit Helsa before the end of the stream. Yeah. Yeah. See if I like it. Because <laughs> if I don't, I'm just going to completely draw them over again. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <clears throat> Can't believe I made him first. <laughs> I really should have started with Ganondorf. <laughs> Ganondorf is easy. <laughs> Hi, Bibri. You want to say hi to the camera? Hi, baby. Well, the internet has already said hi to Boo Boo and Mooney. So the internet should say hi to Bibri. Meet all the babies. Meet all the babies. Yes? Okay, let's touch you down. Yep, it's fine. I'm very happy. Ooh! <laughs> I'll let it cool off a bit before I get a bowl. <laughs> Drew a piece of art for Ganondorf pinup scene. Yes. I'm so glad that there is a pinup scene for Ganondorf that exists. <gasps> pinup scene for Baldur's Gate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you even need to ask. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my next scene project. They're all hot. A second from break to to say <laughs> i don't know i don't think the microphone picked up any of this but alex and i were just talking and uh because cecil i saw your comment about um uh, having an art piece for a ganondorf a pinup zine I'm gonna highlight that comment for a second because i brought this up to alex and then i went oh baldur's gate pinup zine <laughs> and <laughs> Alex's first response was, like, you had to ask. And then she was like, you have to draw one for Withers. <laughs> and then we laughed, and then I went, he's gonna be the cover. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with that <laughs> while I finish up my break. Chose for that song. <laughs> Tell me about your friend by Ray Charles. 
Some point for charity. That'd be fun. Yes. It's gonna be... But if I'm gonna be doing a karaoke stream, it's gotta it's gotta be my choice of songs. <laughs> and that includes improvised songs. <laughs> <laughs> Watchers are very keen on this Baldur's Gate 3 scene, <laughs> and they want in. <laughs> yes. I love that the game is realistic enough to be like, oh no, the body should still be there. Uh huh. <laughs> Especially with like tree knots that look like hives. Uh -huh. And we're going to the shadow first then. Oh dear. Oh <laughs> dear. Oh dear. dear. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sit that down. Okay. Break achieved. Let's go ahead and catch up on these comments real quick. So I see that there are more comments. <laughs> uh, look up Clara Max Carlock for reference of how Carlock would look in real life. That's good to know. Um, she apparently did a cosplay of Carlock, so that's I'm gonna have to look that up. Yes, cosplay Carlock. Yeah, cosplay Carlock. Who? Uh, Claire Max, apparently. <laughs> Excuse me, Bree Bree. Bree Bree, honey. <laughs> it's 
It's right by your tail. Okay. <laughs> okay, I gotta share this comment. Hold on. Um, Cecil mentioned that that Ganondorf pinup scene. Yeah. Somebody did a dehydrated Ganon pinup. So it, so Withers is not out of the realm of possibility. <laughs> of course not. I, I know how the internet is. Oh yeah, the, the internet is a wild place. <laughs> I'm so very glad. Yes, I'm very glad that somebody did that. Kudos to that person. Excuse me, Ruby. Hold on one second. Yes, you. Do you want to up in my lap? Do you want to up in my lap? Hmm? Maybe? Bree Bree's being very fussy. Just one moment. Come here. <laughs> Honey. And then begins Bree Bree's pacing around my office chair like a tiny gray shark. <laughs> well, too bad I'm going to be sleeping. Oh. I got that Bree Bree. Yep. A little tiny gray baby. You scratch the walls, you're going you're going to get you're going to get cuddles. She does not like cuddles. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, except apparently now she wanted cuddles. Go figure. <sighs> so if if we were to make this Baldur's Gate 3 hypothetical zine. Um, I'm not sure that I want to have it be like open submissions. I do want to reach out to a handful of artists that I would want to work with first. Like uh, Cecil and Arch of Winter, you two are definitely up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'd reach out to Chloe and maybe a couple other people uh, who might be interested. Um. <clears throat> Okay, the thing is, is that um, by saying you don't even have to ask who I would draw for the BG3 pinup scene, I kind of want to ask because if it's if it's going to be Carlock, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> um, but if it's if it's Halson, I'm I'm going to revisit Halson before the end of the stream because I do feel like I want to redraw him. But because um, <sighs> I. I was saying this off camera. I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but I really should have started with drawing Ganondorf first and then worked my way up to Halson. Um, but we got Ganondorf at least. Now that I'm looking at him, I'm going to... Boop. There we go. Hold on one second. What? <laughs> I sneezed away from the microphone. <clears throat> Excuse me. down not gonna get too too much into the details here the 
I gotta ask, what is that on his belt? Okay. <laughs> No, one of the easiest ways to take care of this here. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Just change the scaling and then we don't have to worry about adding those details. Okay. And there we are. That works for Ganondorf, methinks. At least to start. Uh, excuse me, Bri, Bri Could you not? Could you not scratch the wall? I was just giving you. I was just giving you attention. The internet was giving you attention, even, and yet you choose to scratch the wall. I do not understand why this is. Could you at least come over here and use your kitty words? Excuse me, Bri. Bri. Hold on one second. Excuse, excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> okay, no scoops. Okay, catch it up on comments. Um Might be a huge long shot. Reach out to Jasmine Darnell. I don't know who this is to join the BG3 pinup scene. She's a big pen paper pinup artist who's a huge fan of BG3. Um, I could see about reaching out to her. I don't imagine why not. Um, but again, I don't know who that is. Um, <laughs> definitely want to reach out to Junior. Um, <laughs> ah, okay. So you, okay. Cecil would be drawing Raphael. Okay. I follow along now. You know what? You can have Raphael. Um, we'll see if I can perfect Halson. Um, I definitely want to do Carlock. Um, we'll see what everybody else wants to do in regards to pinups <laughs> for the scene. Uh, definitely got to reach out to Junior. I think Junior would be interested. Yeah, this is a really good Ganondorf, I gotta say. Yeah. Okay. We'll go ahead and save our progress there. And okay, you know what? I'm just actually going to X out that one and I'm going to start Halson fresh. I think that might be the best course of action. Excuse me. Could you not, madam? <laughs> I'm just going to keep chucking treats at you until you start playing. <laughs> Maybe paper crinkle? I think Bravery's in a playful mood. Crinkle? Crinkle? You want crinkle? Go get it. Oh yeah, that's what you wanted. <laughs> okay. Let's try Halson again. Okay. You know, I just thought of this and this might be in bad taste, but it might be one of the best ways to like get the re a real good grasp of his actual face. <sighs> All right. Well, I'm just going to I'm going to suck it up. 
and I'm going to do it. Okay, that's that was what I was not getting before. There. I got, those were the details that were bothering me the most. Everything else I can work off of reference. <laughs> Ugh, but I understand what was bothering me before. It was the... It was the line right in here. It was this. This was what was throwing me off. There. By fixing that, I'm able I'm able to adjust everything else. So I think with the eyes I'm gonna take a little bit more creative liberty. I'm feeling much more confident about this now. Okay. Because it was just, it was, it was the one side of his face that was throwing me off. Now, now I get it. Smooth this up just a just a skosh. Okay. You know something. I realized this, um, and it was something that I could have brought up earlier, which is that Halson is actually the platonic ideal of what I want Basho and Ranky to look like in The Legend of Jamie Roberts. <laughs> you know, with like the really nice handsome face, but like still kind of chiseled, broad shouldered, like a big bear of a man. <laughs>
You know, those eyes were right the first time. I don't know why I redrew them. Excuse me, Brie, Brie could you not? And then we got his two braids on the one side over here. I remember those. I'm actually going to dress this differently. Oh goodness, what is it, Bri Bri? What? What do you want, baby? Oh. Do you have thoughts? Do you have thoughts on what it is that I'm working on? Oh. oh goodness, yelling. So much yelling. Much fussing. Much fuss. Much grump. Much grump. Very opinion. Mm -hmm. At least we are paying extra for the cat tax tonight. Because I'm pretty sure this is like the second or third time that Bravery has been on camera. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. I will have a bowl here in a bit. I'm just about done. <laughs> I'm feeling much better about this. Sometimes all it takes is just getting the jaw right. 
I didn't like that it had to take me bringing the original like screen cap in just basically trace what it was that I was having trouble with but at least now that I've done that I understand how to draw his face now Oh goodness, I hear the brief brief fussing. Uh, I will say because she's fussing enough, I may have to wrap up the stream here. All right. <laughs> Angelica has hopped into the chat and she says it is the gray day beef stream. Yes. <laughs> the beef stream has turned into the bear stream <laughs> because I've been drawing Halson for a little a hot minute. <laughs> uh, Junior would most likely want to do Halson. I would love to see Junior's take on Halson, to be perfectly honest. I feel like Junior would do a really good Halson. Um, Alex, because I know that you can hear me. Yes. Uh, Junior's the one who did the male selkie on our wall. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Junior would do a really good Halson. <laughs> the Los is like, no thoughts. <laughs> Lots of cat tax tonight. The treasury is getting a surplus. <laughs> Oh, I love all the kitties, too. Um, Brie Brie really does not like to be held, even though she begs for it. It's... She's a cat. <laughs> like what you expect her to do. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. So here's what we have for Halson. We'll... I'll figure out Halson at some point, but... Um, yeah, this... This is fine. But I like Ganondorf and Carlock much better. <laughs> Yeah, so here's our Carlock, here's our Carlock, and here's our Ganondorf. Both looking great. I'll put them side by side because I can do that. There we go. Yeah, we got we got some good beef. We got a good helping of beef tonight. And speaking of beef, I'm actually gonna wrap the stream up here so that I can get some dinner because uh, dinner is sitting on the stove right now. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and start wrapping it up here. All right. Well, thank y'all so much for tuning in and checking everything out. Um, once this live stream wraps, this will be available as a replay. So if you only caught like the last few minutes of it, don't worry about it. You can you can catch the beginning and half of the stream or so, like as soon as this finishes, and then you can start the playlist over. Great. Um, <laughs> consume, consume all the beef. <laughs> I love them both. Thank you, Angelica. I love them both as well. <laughs> I really love how Carlock and Ganondorf turned out in particular. I'll figure out something for Halson, but I might just have to, <laughs> you know, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, this, this Baldur's Gate 3 zine has to happen. <laughs> and I have to invite Junior and Cecil uh, at, at minimum to participate. <laughs> and we got to get a Withers. <laughs> we have to get a Withers pin up. Because yes, Okay, so stay tuned for uh, the coordination of making a Baldur's Gate 3 fanzine happen, <laughs> I suppose. Um, so with these two backgrounds in particular, Carlock and Ganondorf, I will be doing finishing touches on them. And hopefully they will be available for download as phone wallpapers on Monday. Fingers crossed. I might be able to get it done as soon as tomorrow um, to... Stay tuned for that. I'll be announcing it in the community tab. So subscribe to this YouTube channel. And be sure to also subscribe because I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. And I will hopefully have a video out tomorrow. We'll see how quickly I can get it edited and everything. Um, but very least, streams every Tuesday and Thursday. Usually at 6 p.m. I started this one a little bit late. Um... <laughs> Very excited about the Baldur's Gate 3. Do it. I'll buy it. <laughs> yes. We'll make the zine happen. We'll figure it out. There's going to be a lot of, like, coordination on the back end of it. But we will figure it out and we'll make it happen. 
So, yeah. What was that? <laughs> Alex calls a starian. No one else is allowed to have a starian. I'm sorry, I don't make the rules. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, I make the rules because I'm going to be doing the coordination for this. But still, <laughs> still, Alex gets a starian. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna wrap this up so that I can get some food. Um, I already did the YouTube plug. The only other plug that I got left is that Cats, the sketchbook, is in its final hours on Crowdfunder. The ticker's been scrolling along the bottom this whole stream. There's a link in the description. So you can go to crowdfunder.com slash Cats Art Book. Pre-order yourself a copy of Cats, a sketchbook. Um, it is the almost exact opposite of beefcakes. It's all cats. <laughs> but... The, the Venn diagram of people who like cats and people who like beefcakes is almost a circle. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, so there you go. Check that out. If you're interested, uh, crowdfunder.com slash cats art book. Link is also in the doobly-doo. We are in our final hours. We've hit our base goal. We're now reaching for stretch goals. Other than that, thank you all so much for watching. Drink some water. Get some tea. Take care of yourselves because you are awesome. <laughs>